Begin, Nature's Embrace, A Journey of Deep Communion, Part 2. Practice deep breathing and grounding. As we spend time in nature, engaging in deep, intentional breathing becomes a powerful practice to enhance our communion with the natural world. Our breath serves as a bridge between our inner world and the external environment, allowing us to synchronize with the rhythms of nature and deepen our connection with the world around us. To begin, find a comfortable spot in nature where you can settle and focus on your breath. Take a moment to observe your surroundings, the swaying of trees, the gentle flow of a nearby stream, or the rustling of leaves. Allow yourself to become present, fully immersing in the present moment. As you inhale, breathe in the fresh air deeply, allowing it to fill your lungs and nourish your body and spirit. Feel the vitality and life force carried by the air entering your body. With each exhale, release any tension, stress, or distractions, allowing your breath to carry away any burdens you may be carrying. As you continue breathing, attune your breath to the natural rhythms around you. Notice the ebb and flow of the wind, the rise and fall of the tides, or the subtle shifts in the environment. Allow your breath to mimic these patterns, syncing your inhalations and exhalations with the inherent cycles of nature. This intentional synchronization deepens your connection with the natural world, harmonizing your energy with the energies of the environment. Engaging in grounding exercises further enhances your communion with nature. One way to ground yourself is to stand barefoot on the earth, allowing your feet to make direct contact with the ground beneath you. Feel the textures and temperature of the earth, whether it's the coolness of grass, the warmth of sand, or the solidity of rock. Allow yourself to fully immerse in this tactile experience, appreciating the tangible connection to the earth. Visualize roots growing from the soles of your feet, gradually sinking into the soil beneath you. Envision these roots extending deep into the earth, anchoring you firmly to the present moment and grounding your energy. Feel the stability and support offered by the earth, as if you are being embraced by its nurturing energy. This grounding exercise fosters a sense of stability, balance, and connection, allowing you to fully embody your presence in the natural world. As you combine deep, intentional breathing with grounding exercises, you cultivate a profound sense of rootedness and harmony within nature. The rhythmic breath aligns you with the cyclical nature of the world, while grounding connects you to the stability and nourishment provided by the earth. This synergy deepens your communion, creating a space where you can fully embrace the transformative power and wisdom of the natural world. Through intentional breathing and grounding exercises, we unlock a pathway to a deeper understanding of our interconnectedness with nature. We recognize that we are not separate from the world around us, but rather an integral part of it. As we breathe in the fresh air and connect with the earth, we acknowledge our interdependence and honor the profound bond we share with the natural world. By incorporating these practices into our communion with nature, we nurture a greater sense of presence, awareness, and unity. We awaken to the intricate dance of life unfolding within and around us. Each breath becomes a reminder of our connection to the breath of the planet, and each step becomes a celebration of our intimate relationship with the earth. In this state of mindful presence, we deepen our communion with nature, experiencing the beauty, wisdom, and interconnectedness that abound in the world of natural wonders. Engage in meditative practice. Meditation serves as a profound and transformative tool for deepening our communion with nature. By finding a comfortable position in a natural setting and entering into a meditative state, we create a space for inner stillness and open ourselves to the rich tapestry of the natural world. One approach to meditation in nature is mindfulness meditation. Begin by settling into a comfortable position, whether seated or lying down, and bring your awareness to the present moment. Focus on your breath, observing the sensations of each inhalation and exhalation. As thoughts arise, simply notice them without judgment or attachment, allowing them to pass like clouds in the sky. Direct your attention back to the breath, anchoring yourself in the present moment and the sensations of your body. As you practice mindfulness meditation in nature, you become more attuned to the subtle sounds, scents, and sensations that surround you. Notice the rustling leaves, the chirping of birds, or the gentle caress of the wind on your skin. Allow these sensory experiences to draw you deeper into the present moment, 
cultivating a sense of connection and unity with the natural world. Another approach to meditation in nature is engaging in visualization exercises. With closed eyes, allow your imagination to transport you into the heart of nature's beauty. Visualize yourself merging with the flowing currents of a river, becoming one with the gentle ebb and flow of its waters. Feel the coolness and fluidity as you surrender to the river's rhythm. Alternatively, immerse yourself in the vibrant colors of a sunset, visualizing yourself melting into the fiery hues of the sky, absorbing the warmth and tranquility that the sunset offers. These visualizations allow you to transcend the boundaries of the physical self and experience a profound merging with the natural world. In both mindfulness meditation and visualization exercises, the mind begins to quiet, creating a space for stillness and inner peace. As the mental chatter subsides, a deeper connection with the natural world unfolds. You may experience a heightened awareness of the intricate interplay of life around you, the symbiotic relationships between plants and animals, the dance of light and shadow, or the cycles of growth and decay. In this state of deepened awareness, you recognize that you are an integral part of this interconnected web of existence. Through meditation, we open ourselves to the wisdom and beauty of nature. We tap into the vast intelligence and harmony that permeates the natural world, accessing insights and understanding beyond the limitations of words or intellectual concepts. We come to realize that nature is not separate from us, but an extension of our own being, reflecting our inner landscape and inviting us to reconnect with our true essence. As you continue to incorporate meditation into your communion with nature, you deepen your connection and attunement to the natural world. The practice becomes a gateway to a richer, more profound experience of the natural environment, revealing its hidden depths and mysteries. You may find that the barriers between yourself and nature dissolve, and a sense of oneness and unity prevails. In the stillness of meditation, we discover that nature has much to teach us about presence, resilience, and interconnectedness. We become aware of the interplay of energies, the constant cycles of birth, growth, death, and renewal that shape the natural world. We learn to appreciate the inherent wisdom and balance that nature embodies. Through the practice of meditation, we forge a deep communion with nature. We awaken to the intrinsic harmony and interconnectedness that exist within and around us. We discover that our own inner landscape is mirrored in the vast expanse of the natural world, and in turn, we learn to honor, protect, and nurture this sacred bond. As we continue this journey of communion, meditation becomes a gateway to the beauty, wisdom, and transformative power of the natural world, enriching our lives and fostering a deep sense of reverence for the interconnected tapestry of existence. Cultivate Gratitude and Reverence Developing a practice of gratitude and reverence for the natural world is a profound way to deepen our communion with nature. It invites us to acknowledge and appreciate the abundant gifts that nature bestows upon us, fostering a sense of interconnectedness and cultivating a reciprocal relationship with the earth. Expressing gratitude for the blessings of nature can take various forms. Take a moment each day to offer words of thanks, either silently or aloud, for the beauty, nourishment, and inspiration that nature provides. Express gratitude for the vibrant colors of flowers, the soothing sounds of a babbling brook, or the gentle touch of a breeze on your skin. As you develop a habit of expressing gratitude, you open yourself to a deeper awareness of the wonders that surround you, nurturing a sense of awe and appreciation for the natural world. In addition to expressing gratitude, you can offer prayers or silent intentions for the well-being and harmony of the earth. Take a moment to send your thoughts and wishes for the healing and protection of the environment, the preservation of ecosystems, and the welfare of all living beings. By directing your energy and intentions towards the well-being of the earth, you contribute to the collective consciousness of caring and stewardship. Developing a deep sense of reverence is another vital aspect of deepening communion with nature. Recognize the sacredness in all living beings and natural elements. Whether it's a towering tree, a delicate flower, a majestic mountain, or a humble insect, honor the inherent value and interconnectedness of each. Cultivate reverence for the cycles of life and death, the rhythms of the seasons, and the intricate web of relationships that sustain the natural world. Engaging in rituals or ceremonies of reverence can enhance this practice. 
Create a personal ceremony that allows you to connect with and honor the natural elements or specific aspects of nature that resonate with you. Offer a small token, such as a flower or a stone, as a symbol of gratitude and reverence. Engage your senses by lighting candles, burning incense, or playing soft music that evokes a sense of sacredness. Through these acts of reverence, you invite a deeper connection with the sacredness of nature, opening yourself to its wisdom and teachings. Adopting an attitude of gratitude and reverence transforms our relationship with the natural world. It shifts our perspective from one of exploitation or indifference to one of deep appreciation and care. As we recognize the interconnectedness and sacredness of all life, we become mindful of our impact on the environment and develop a sense of responsibility and stewardship. This practice of gratitude and reverence fosters a reciprocal relationship with nature. As we offer our gratitude and reverence, we also receive the gifts of beauty, inspiration, and sustenance that nature provides. It deepens our communion, allowing us to receive the lessons, healing, and nourishment that the natural world offers with an open heart and mind. In cultivating gratitude and reverence, we foster a profound sense of belonging and connection. We recognize that we are an integral part of the intricate tapestry of life, and that our well-being is intertwined with the well-being of the earth. This awareness inspires us to make conscious choices and take actions that honor and protect the environment, nurturing a sustainable and harmonious relationship with nature. As we deepen our communion with nature through gratitude and reverence, we invite a profound transformation in our lives. We become more attuned to the beauty, wisdom, and interconnectedness that abound in the natural world. We develop a greater capacity for compassion, empathy, and love towards all living beings. Ultimately, this practice guides us towards a more harmonious, balanced, and meaningful existence, rooted in reverence and gratitude for the sacredness of nature. Engage in animal and plant spirit connection. Animals and plants possess their own unique wisdom and medicine, offering valuable teachings and guidance to those who seek a deeper communion with nature. Engaging in practices that facilitate a connection with the spirits of animals and plants can open doors to profound insights, healing, and transformation. One way to connect with the wisdom of animals is through quiet observation. Find a peaceful spot in nature and spend time simply watching the behavior of animals. Observe their movements, interactions, and natural instincts. Notice their patterns, gestures, and the messages they may hold for you. Each animal has its own symbolic significance and teachings that can provide guidance and insight into your own life journey. Reflect on the qualities and attributes of the animals you encounter and contemplate how they might offer valuable lessons or reflections for your own personal growth. Developing relationships with specific plants is another powerful avenue to deepen your communion with nature. Engage in practices such as herbalism or plant spirit communication to connect with the wisdom and healing energies of plants. Study the properties and uses of different plants, learning about their medicinal qualities, folklore, and spiritual significance. Cultivate a relationship with specific plants that resonate with you, spending time in their presence and observing their unique qualities. Practice mindfulness as you engage with these plants, honoring their existence and opening yourself to their teachings. In herbalism, you can explore the medicinal properties of plants, using them for healing and well-being. Learn how to prepare herbal remedies, such as teas, tinctures, or salves, and incorporate them into your self-care routine. As you work with plants in this way, pay attention to the subtle energies and messages they transmit. Notice how your body and spirit respond to their healing properties, and develop a deeper understanding of the intricate relationship between humans and plants. Plant-spirit communication is another approach that allows for a deeper connection with the wisdom of plants. Engage in practices such as guided meditations, shamanic journeys, or ceremony to connect with the spirits of plants. Create a sacred space, set an intention, and open yourself to the teachings and guidance of the plant spirits. Through these practices, you can receive insights, messages, or visions from the plant realm. This form of communication allows for a direct exchange of wisdom and energy, fostering a profound communion with the plant kingdom. As you engage with the spirits of animals and plants, 
it is important to approach these practices with respect, humility, and gratitude. Recognize that animals and plants are not merely resources or objects to be exploited but living beings with their own agency and significance in the natural world. Honor their presence, wisdom, and inherent value. Acknowledge that they play the role of teachers and allies in your communion with nature, offering guidance and support on your journey of self-discovery and connection. By engaging in practices that facilitate a connection with the spirits of animals and plants, you open yourself to a wealth of teachings and healing energies. These wise beings become your companions and guides, illuminating your path, and deepening your understanding of the interconnectedness of all life. As you cultivate relationships with animals and plants, you develop a profound appreciation for the intricate web of existence, recognizing the sacredness and wisdom that they bring to your communion with nature. In honoring the wisdom of animals and plants, we honor the inherent wisdom of the natural world itself. We come to understand that we are part of a vast tapestry of life, interconnected and interdependent with all beings. By embracing the teachings and guidance offered by animals and plants, we open ourselves to transformation, healing, and a richer, more profound communion with nature. Cultivate intuition and symbolic language. Nature has a language all its own, speaking to us through symbolism, synchronicities, and intuitive messages. To deepen our communion with nature, it is essential to cultivate our intuition and receptivity to the subtle language of the natural world. By attuning ourselves to the signs and symbols that appear during our encounters with nature, we open ourselves to profound insights and guidance. Pay close attention to synchronicities, the meaningful coincidences or events that seem to align perfectly with your thoughts, feelings, or desires. These synchronicities often carry messages from the universe or the natural world, offering guidance or confirmation on your path. Be open to recognizing and interpreting these synchronicities as they manifest in your life. They may take the form of encounters with certain animals, recurring themes or symbols in your experiences, or unexpected connections that seem to carry significance. Pause and reflect upon these synchronicities, allowing them to guide you deeper into your communion with nature. Signs and symbols are another way nature communicates with us. They can manifest in various forms, such as the appearance of a specific animal, the presence of certain plants, or even natural phenomena like rainbows or the flight patterns of birds. These signs and symbols often carry personal meaning and offer insights into our inner world or the circumstances of our lives. Keep a journal to document these signs and symbols, noting your observations and any intuitive interpretations that arise. Over time, you may start to discern patterns and themes that deepen your understanding of the messages nature is conveying to you. Cultivating a relationship with your inner guidance is crucial for interpreting the language of nature. Develop practices that quiet the mind and allow your intuition to speak more clearly. Meditation, journaling, or spending quiet time in nature can help you access the inner wisdom that resides within you. Trust the intuitive insights that arise during your communion with nature. These messages may come as a gut feeling, an inner knowing, or a whisper in the depths of your consciousness. By nurturing a relationship with your inner guidance, you deepen your connection with nature's messages and open yourself to a wellspring of wisdom and truth. As you engage with nature, allow it to become a mirror, reflecting back to you the insights and truths that are most relevant to your journey. Nature has a way of reflecting our inner landscape and offering reflections that guide our personal growth and transformation. Pay attention to the emotions, sensations, or thoughts that arise as you immerse yourself in nature. Notice the resonance or dissonance between your inner experiences and the external environment. Reflect upon these reflections and explore the deeper meanings they may hold for your life's path. Remember to approach this process with patience, curiosity, and an open heart. Nature's messages may not always be immediately clear or easily deciphered. Allow yourself to sit with the mystery, trusting that the answers will unfold in their own time and way. Remain receptive and humble in your communion with nature, honoring the wisdom it imparts. By cultivating intuition, receptivity, and trust in the subtle language of nature, we forge a deeper connection and communion with the natural world. We become attuned to the underlying currents of meaning and guidance that flow through the web of life. 
Through synchronicities, signs, symbols, and intuitive messages, nature reveals its wisdom and offers support on our journey of self-discovery and growth. Ultimately, the language of nature invites us to embark on a continuous dialogue with the natural world. It encourages us to listen deeply, observe keenly, and engage with a sense of wonder and reverence. As we develop our ability to interpret the language of nature, we deepen our communion, forming a reciprocal relationship of learning, healing, and transformation. Nature becomes a trusted companion, a wise teacher, and a profound source of guidance, enriching our lives with its boundless wisdom and love. Engage in nature conservation and stewardship. Deep communion with nature comes hand in hand with a profound responsibility to care for and protect the natural world. As we develop a deeper connection with the earth, it becomes imperative to take conscious actions that support environmental conservation and stewardship. By aligning our actions with the principles of communion and interconnectedness, we can contribute to the preservation of the natural world for future generations. One of the first steps towards environmental responsibility is to reduce our ecological footprint. This involves making mindful choices in our daily lives to minimize our impact on the Earth's resources. Consider adopting practices such as conserving energy by turning off lights and electronics when not in use, reducing water consumption, and using public transportation or carpooling to decrease carbon emissions. Embrace a sustainable lifestyle by opting for organic, locally sourced, and plant-based foods whenever possible. By reducing our consumption and embracing eco-friendly habits, we actively contribute to the well-being of the planet. Recycling and waste reduction are fundamental aspects of environmental stewardship. Practice proper waste management by recycling materials such as paper, plastic, glass, and metal. Reduce the use of single-use items and opt for reusable alternatives whenever feasible. Educate yourself about the recycling guidelines in your area and take steps to ensure your waste is disposed of properly. By adopting these practices, we contribute to the conservation of natural resources and the reduction of pollution. Active participation in local conservation efforts is another vital way to demonstrate our commitment to protecting the environment. Get involved with community organizations or join local conservation groups that work towards preserving and restoring natural habitats. Participate in cleanup initiatives, tree planting campaigns, or wildlife protection projects. By actively engaging in these activities, we become agents of positive change in our communities, fostering a sense of stewardship and inspiring others to take action. Supporting environmental organizations and initiatives is also crucial in our efforts to care for and protect the natural world. Research and donate to reputable organizations that work tirelessly to safeguard ecosystems, protect endangered species, and advocate for sustainable practices. By contributing to these causes, we amplify the impact of our individual actions and support the collective efforts to preserve and restore the Earth's biodiversity. Furthermore, Nurturing a sense of environmental consciousness and sharing knowledge with others is essential for creating a ripple effect of change. Educate yourself about environmental issues, ecological interdependencies, and sustainable practices. Share your knowledge with friends, family, and community members, raising awareness about the importance of environmental conservation. Encourage others to embrace a deeper communion with nature and adopt conscious actions in their own lives. As we engage in these conscious actions and support environmental conservation, our bond with nature deepens. We recognize that we are part of a vast interconnected web of life, and our well-being is intrinsically linked to the health and vitality of the natural world. By aligning our actions with the principles of communion and interconnectedness, we embody a sense of responsibility and stewardship towards the earth. Deepening our communion with nature and actively participating in environmental conservation go hand in hand. As we tread gently upon the earth, we not only protect its precious ecosystems but also nurture our own connection with the natural world. In caring for the earth, we care for ourselves, recognizing that our well-being is intricately intertwined with the well-being of the planet. Ultimately, by engaging in conscious actions that support environmental conservation and stewardship, we become catalysts for positive change. 
we leave a lasting legacy for future generations, where the wonders of nature can be cherished, enjoyed, and experienced. Let us embrace our responsibility to care for and protect the natural world, ensuring that the communion we share with nature remains vibrant and harmonious for generations to come. Reflect and integrate. After immersing ourselves in the embrace of nature, it is important to take moments of reflection to honor and integrate our experiences. Carve out time to sit in stillness and journal your thoughts, feelings, and insights that have emerged during your communion with nature. Allow the words to flow freely, capturing the essence of your connection and the impressions left upon your heart and mind. As you reflect, contemplate the lessons learned from your time in nature. Consider the messages received through the symbolism, the wisdom shared by animals and plants, and the intuitive guidance that emerged. Contemplate how these experiences have touched you on a deeper level, stirring emotions, igniting curiosity, or revealing hidden aspects of yourself. Allow these insights to sink deeply, inviting them to resonate and inform your understanding of yourself and the world. Seek to integrate the wisdom gained from your communion with nature into your daily life. Consider how you can embody the principles of interconnectedness, sustainability, and respect for all life forms in your choices, actions, and relationships. Let the reverence and awe you experienced in nature guide you to make conscious choices that honor and protect the environment. Embrace sustainable practices, such as reducing waste, conserving resources, and supporting local and ethical products. Cultivate compassion and empathy for all living beings, extending kindness and care not only to humans but also to animals, plants, and the earth itself. Allow your deep communion with nature to shape your values and beliefs. Let it influence your perspective on what is truly important in life, fostering a greater sense of gratitude, humility, and interconnectedness. Recognize that you are an integral part of the natural world, and that your actions can have a profound impact on the well-being of the planet and all its inhabitants. Let this awareness guide your decisions, encouraging you to prioritize sustainability, conservation, and the protection of biodiversity. Nurture your relationships with others through the lens of your communion with nature. Share your experiences and insights with friends, family, and community members, inviting them to join you in deepening their connection with the natural world. Foster a sense of shared stewardship, collaborating with others to protect and preserve the environment. Engage in meaningful conversations that raise awareness and inspire positive change. Cultivate relationships based on respect, empathy, and a shared commitment to living in harmony with nature. Embrace a conscious way of being in the world, allowing your deep communion with nature to shape your actions and interactions. Let your experiences in nature serve as a compass, guiding you towards a more harmonious and conscious way of life. Practice mindfulness in all aspects of your existence, engaging fully with the present moment and recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. Seek beauty and inspiration in the natural world, integrating the awe and wonder you experienced into your daily routines. As you navigate through life, let your communion with nature be a source of guidance, solace, and inspiration. Remember the sense of peace, connection, and vitality you experienced in nature, and strive to cultivate those qualities in your everyday experiences. Honor the sacredness of the earth and its inhabitants, nurturing a deep reverence for all life forms. Embrace the responsibility and privilege of being a steward of the earth, actively contributing to its well-being and the well-being of future generations. By integrating the wisdom gained from your communion with nature into your daily life, you align yourself with the natural rhythms and harmonies of the world. You become an ambassador for the transformative power of nature, inspiring others to reconnect with the earth and fostering a collective consciousness of love, respect, and care for our planet. As you live in harmony with nature, you contribute to a more sustainable, compassionate, and vibrant world for all beings. Remember, deep communion with nature is a deeply personal and unique journey. Allow yourself to be open, receptive, and adaptable to the experiences and messages that arise during your communion. Approach this journey with humility, reverence, and a willingness to surrender to the mysteries of the natural world. Through the cultivation of presence, awareness, and gratitude, you will discover the profound interconnectedness that exists between yourself and the living tapestry of nature. 
In this communion, you will find healing, guidance, and a deeper understanding of your place in the web of life. Ways to commune with nature. Communing with nature at a deep level is a very personal, subjective experience. It is okay though because there are any number of ways you can go about it for best results. Here are some ideas to help you narrow down your options. The key to success is allow yourself to be fully present and open to the beauty and calm of the natural world. Forest bathing. Forest bathing, also known as Shindin Yoku, is a practice that involves immersing oneself in a forest environment. Take a leisurely walk in the woods, paying attention to your surroundings and fully engaging your senses as you go. Breathe deeply the fresh air, touch the bark of trees, and listen to the sounds of nature. This mindful experience can promote relaxation and a deeper connection with the natural world. The Germans have a word for this that has no equivalent in English, Waldinsenkiet meaning the feeling of being alone in the forest. Nature Photography Explore the beauty of nature through photography. Get creative and find interesting angles, capture the intricate details of flowers, experiment with the play of light through the trees, or the vastness of a landscape. Photography not only allows you to appreciate nature's aesthetics but also encourages you to closely observe and appreciate the finer aspects of the natural world. Wildlife Observation Have you ever walked through a silent forest and rested for a few minutes and noticed how all the creatures that fell silent when they heard you coming resume their normal activities? The silent forest is suddenly full of life. Find a spot where you can observe wildlife in their natural habitat. It could be a bird sanctuary, a beach where dolphins or seals gather, or a park known for its diverse wildlife. Bring a pair of binoculars and patiently observe the animals from a respectful distance. Witnessing their behaviors and interactions can be a profound way to connect with the animal kingdom. Nature journaling. Keep a nature journal to record your experiences and observations. Write about your encounters with different plants and animals, sketch the landscapes you come across, and jot down any thoughts or reflections that arise. Nature journaling not only helps you remember your experiences but also encourages deeper reflection and appreciation of the natural world. Sunrise or sunset watching, set your alarm early or make time in the evening to witness the beauty of a sunrise or sunset. Find a serene location, such as a beach, hilltop, or open field, and take in the colors and tranquility of these moments. The changing sky can evoke a sense of wonder and connection with the rhythm and cycles of nature. Nature crafts, engage your creative side by making crafts inspired by nature. Collect fallen leaves, twigs, and shells to create artwork or decorations. Make a nature-inspired collage or create a pressed flower arrangement. Crafting with natural materials can deepen your connection with the earth and inspire creativity. Hiking, for the energetic, hiking is a rewarding experience as you travel through landscapes. Hiking in national parks and state forests allows you to explore the pristine natural world while getting some exercise at the same time. Day hikes or longer ones with overnight camping can bring you into close communion with nature because your senses naturally open up after several hours. Sleeping in the wild can produce nature-inspired dreams. Meditating in nature, a powerful way to connect with the environment and find inner peace. Find a quiet spot, preferably your sacred spot as discussed earlier, sit comfortably, and close your eyes. Take deep breaths inhaling the sense of the natural surroundings. Focus on the sensations of your body and the sounds of nature. Let your thoughts come and go without judgment, not fixating on any one thought, allowing yourself to be fully present. Feel the earth beneath you and the gentle breeze on your skin. Embrace the stillness and serenity of the natural world, allowing it to guide you towards a deeper state of meditation and connection with yourself and nature. Afterward, the journey of deep communion with nature is a profound and transformative one, a journey that has unfolded through the pages of this book. It has been a voyage of discovery, awakening, and connection, guided by the wisdom and beauty of the natural world. As we close this chapter, let us reflect upon the insights, experiences, and practices that have brought us closer to the heart of nature. Throughout this book, we have explored the myriad ways in which we can cultivate a deep communion with nature. We have delved into the importance of slowing down, embracing solitude, 
and immersing ourselves in natural environments that resonate with our souls. We have learned the power of rituals, ceremonies, and meditation in deepening our connection and reverence for the natural world. We have explored the wisdom of animals, plants, and the elements, recognizing their teachings and integrating them into our lives. We have embraced practices that heighten our awareness, such as developing a keen observation of nature, engaging our senses, and cultivating intuition. We have taken steps towards environmental responsibility, nurturing a sense of gratitude, and fostering a reciprocal relationship with the earth. In the process of deepening our communion with nature, we have undergone a profound transformation. We have moved beyond the limitations of the mind and connected with the vast intelligence, beauty, and interconnectedness of the natural world. We have realized that we are not separate from nature, but an integral part of it, woven into the intricate tapestry of life. We have recognized that the well-being of the earth is intricately linked to our own well-being. We have found solace, inspiration, and healing in the loving embrace of the natural world. As we close this chapter, let us remember that deep communion with nature is not a destination, but an ongoing journey. It is a journey that unfolds with each step we take, each moment of awareness and connection we cultivate. It is a journey that is ever-evolving, as we deepen our understanding, refine our practices, and navigate the ebb and flow of life's seasons. May the teachings, practices, and experiences shared in this book serve as guideposts on your ongoing journey of communion with nature. May they continue to inspire and uplift you, reminding you of the beauty, wisdom, and interconnectedness that abound in every aspect of the natural world. May they empower you to be an advocate for the earth, sharing your insights and experiences with others, and fostering a collective consciousness of love, respect, and care for our planet. As we bid farewell to these pages, let us carry the essence of deep communion with nature within our hearts. Let us allow the lessons learned, the insights gained, and the experiences cherished to permeate our daily lives. Let us strive to live in harmony with nature, honoring the principles of interconnectedness, sustainability, and reverence for all life forms. In the tapestry of existence, may we always find solace, inspiration,